What is up you guys? This is Black Stories. I hope everybody is having a wonderful December. The weather has been going crazy lately for the past few days, but I do hope you guys are doing well. I would like to show you guys a full view of the Succubus Queen outfit. If you don't know what it looks like on Eevee, or if you don't know what it looks like in general, then you have come to the right channel. I will show you every bit of piece of armor that you could buy and that you sadly can't. And I also want to share my opinion about the outfit itself. Uh, I personally really like the outfit a lot. It's very similar to the Succubus Queen outfit, what she wears, except the bra is kind of different. Which did disappoint me a bit because I really wanted to be like the strapless lace. And I'll talk about the inner armor in a sec. Now let's look at the boots. Now the boots is pretty dope. It has blades on the side. I couldn't tell at first what it was. Because I didn't notice that Succubus Queen was uh, carrying those blades on the side. But yeah, I liked it a lot. The wings are dyeable. I dyed them both black. You could dye the, the arm and the wing itself. I like it a lot. It's so beasty, so moy. Just boss. Ugh. The wings itself is what makes the whole outfit worth it. Period. Just period. Now for the robe on the back. It's pretty transparent if you use different types of colors, but I wanted to use black. It just looks good on black. It also looks good on white, but you could you could see her ass on, on white, so I, I didn't want that to distract me. <laughs> and now you can see the skulls on the elbows, pretty sick. This armor is very hot. I really like the, the skulls on the elbows, it's just ugh. And there's one skull on her middle finger. I believe that's a skull, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. And another skull right between her breasts. But you guys already knew about that part already. <laughs> uh, okay, never mind. So moving on, you got the the transparent uh, fins on the back of her arm, and my favorite part, you got the horns and the crown. They're both dyeable, and I use white on the crown and black for the horns. As for the Succubus Queen inner armor. Sadly, it doesn't come separated from the Succubus Queen outfit. You have to purchase the Succubus Queen outfit in order to get the inner armor. Which is sad because you cannot customize the color of the stocking or the bra. And that takes away the freedom of customization for your characters. Which they shouldn't do next time. I prefer what they done with the inner armor for Ice Set and Keegan. I don't know if Keegan had inner armor, I don't think so. But Ice Set definitely had her own inner armor and you could purchase it at the Avatar shop separated from the outfit. I am a customer and a supporter for this game. And as long as they're gonna continue of giving rare stuff to the players, I will continue to support this game as well as they give us good stuff also. Not overpriced though but at least something good. And the Succubus Queen outfit, I say, from my own opinion, it's worth it. If it's gonna be very rare and it's not gonna be ever be shown again after the 20th of next month, 2015, then I believe that this event and uh, the upcoming events that are coming in the future are pretty much worth it. As long as they keep the prices fair for other people and that they continue giving rare stuff like the Succubus Queen outfit. And that is pretty much it you guys. That is from my opinion only with the event and this lovely outfit. I might get this outfit for Arisha. <laughs> oh my goodness, we shall see, we'll see. Uh, if not, I'll get her something else. I would like to hear your guys' opinion on the comment section down below. Tell me if you like the event, did you hate the event, did you get the Succubus Queen outfit, were you lucky, or did you get the uh, Demon Hunter outfitter? So uh, I would love to hear your thoughts. See you guys, and take care. Game on. Ciao!